Hi guys, my name is Tanmoy and welcome to another session of Study PPC. Today we are going to look at how to create a 15 seconds in-stream ad non-skippable video campaign. In order to create this campaign guys, we will have to first uh, upload a video on YouTube account and then we can link that to our Google Ads and create this campaign. This ad is primarily used for branding and awareness creation. This ad appears on YouTube and other video content websites as well. So let's have a look at it. First of all, we'll see how to go ahead and link our Google Ads account to our YouTube account. And then we'll get into the process of seeing how to build this campaign. In order to link this account, guys, first what we need to do is we have to click on settings and billing. And in that we can go to linked accounts. In linked accounts, as you can see over here, you have YouTube and you can go to the details page of it. Here you will be able to link your YouTube account to Google Ads. You can go ahead to add the channel and you can type your YouTube channel name over here. It will open a drop down from which you can go ahead and select your YouTube channel in this particular manner. And then it will ask you to select the channel owner. If you are the owner of the channel, you can select that option and continue to YouTube to complete the account linking process or else if somebody else is the channel owner then you can give the email address of the channel owner and then send the request if the owner goes ahead and accepts the request then you would be able to link your google ads to that channel once this is done we can come back and build this campaign out now this particular ad which is a 15 seconds non-skippable ad is primarily used for branding and awareness creation so we will start creating the campaign and we will see how to choose that particular goal. In order to create this campaign guys, the first thing we do is we click on new campaign and then here we can choose the goal for this campaign. Now, as I told you for this specific ad type, we need to choose brand awareness and reach. It is critical guys that we choose the right goal. Otherwise we will not get the option to build the specific ad we are looking forward to create. Now here you will be able to select your campaign type. So we are going to choose video and in this options, you can see the third option, which is a non skippable in stream ad. This is what we are planning to build out here, guys. Once you select it, you can go to continue and now you can start giving the details for this campaign. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to give the campaign name. And then you can see the bidding strategy for this campaign will be target CPM because it is about branding and awareness creation. That's why the bidding strategy is suitable for it is CPM. Then you can give the budget of the campaign. Now, since it's a video campaign, you have the option to set two types of budgets. The first one will be a daily budget, which is basically an average amount of money which you are willing to spend on your campaign on a per day basis or you can choose campaign total which is basically a total budget which you allocate for this campaign to be spent for advertising for today i'm looking at daily budget so you can give your daily budget amount here and then you can give a start date end date to this campaign so you can select any date which can be the end date for the campaign in this particular manner and now you can see the networks where the ad is going to show so this ad will be shown on YouTube videos, channel pages and the YouTube homepage. It will also appear on other video partner websites on the display network. Then we are coming into the location targeting where you can choose your geographical locations. Now that can be the country, city, state. You can also do radius targeting by giving pin code. You can also exclude certain locations where you don't provide your services and products then uh, we are coming into the language targeting so you can select your language of your customers what they speak from this list provided and now we are coming to content exclusions in content exclusions you can define where your ads will be shown so in that you have inventory type first so in inventory type you have the option to choose the type of inventory where you would like to show your ads so Google provides us with three options, expanded inventory, standard inventory, and limited inventory. 
Expanded inventory is a case where the ads are shown aggressively on all types of content and sometimes can be shown on sensitive content as well. Standard inventory is where the ads are shown on content that's appropriate for most of the brands, which is a combination of aggressive and not so aggressive contents as well. And the last one is limited inventory, where the ads are shown very reserve, uh, reservatively, conservatively and, sh and not shown to any kind of sensitive content at all. So you can choose the type of inventory you want to target. Then if you come to additional settings, you will get few more things to set up over here like conversion tracking. You can do a account level conversion tracking or a campaign level conversion tracking here. If next what you have is devices. So if you want to target specific devices with this ad, you can do that as well based on operating systems, device models and networks. Then what you have is frequency capping. Frequency capping is basically an option wherein you can put a cap on the number of times the ad is being shown on a per day basis to the same user. So you can give a number over here if you want to do a capping of impressions. And then you have ad scheduling which is basically a case if you want to run your ads on particular days of the week or time of the day, you can set it up over here in this particular manner. You can select your days, your time, as well. Once this is done, we are coming into the ad group creation. So you can first of all name the ad group and then we get into the targeting part of this campaign. Like any other display campaign, you have the targeting for people targeting and content targeting which you can do. Under people targeting, you can do demographics targeting wherein you can select the gender age, parental status of your customers who you deal with on a daily basis. Then you have audience targeting. So in audience targeting, you will get a lot many options to target the kind of people you want to go after based on detailed demographics, affinity. You have also the option of um, in-market audiences, live events. You can also do remarketing. If you are using a audience list, which you have in the account, you can link it over here and you can target them as well. You can also do combined audiences, which is basically creating different types of combinations in of audiences, which you can target. And then you have custom audiences as well. So wherein you can create your own audience set based on people's interest and intentions and also the kind of searches they do on Google. So let's have a look at this. Let's say we are doing affinity targeting so you can select that it will provide you with various categories to choose from so you can choose in this particular manner in the same way you can also do in market so you can come to in market audiences and these are the categories you will get to select from so you can choose it and you can also do your life events which targeting as well in this which you get an option for Life events is basically a concept wherein uh, Google targets based on people's events which happens in their life. So you can choose those options from here. Then what we have is uh, lastly was custom audiences I was telling you. So you can create a custom audience from here if you think that none of the categories suits your business. Once you're done with audience targeting, then we are coming to content wherein you can do targeting based on websites content. So here what we first have is keywords, which is basically contextual targeting. So you can give the keywords which are related to your business and we will try to target the relevant content over here. So like this, you can give your keywords which best describes your business and the product and services you are giving. In topic targeting, you will get multiple categories. Now you can see of different types of categories or sectors of work related to your business. You can select the categories which are most closely relevant to your business and your ads will be targeted to those specific websites. And then what you have is placement targeting where 
you can target YouTube channels, YouTube videos, video lineups, websites, apps and app categories. So let's say if I want to target specific videos, I can select that and mention the business I am into. When I do that, a list of web videos related to my business comes out and now I can select the one which is most relevant for my business. In this particular manner, you can also see the number of views they have received and based on which you can do your selections. And now you can also set the bid for this campaign. You also get an option over here to set a top content bid adjustment. This is basically a case wherein if you want to target top content videos on YouTube, there are a lot of videos which has received immense amount of views. It makes sense for every business to target those videos and try to show ads on them because that can bring a lot of branding and awareness creation. So it makes sense to that you bid a little higher to show your ads on them because the competition will be extremely high to so to win such a auction you would need to bid a little extra uh, in such a case so for those scenarios you can give a extra multiplier bid which you can apply and you can target those videos and then finally guys we are coming to the ad creation process so here you can mention your business or you can type the URL of your YouTube channel and you can target the video which you want to use over here in this particular manner. And now you can see this is a non-skippable in-stream ad. You can give the final URL of your website which you are trying to promote. Okay, you can also give the give a call to action like buy now register today you can provide that over here and then you can also give a headline in this simple manner you can create the ad you can see the preview of the ad on mobile this is how it is going to come and on desktop how it is going to come you can also see how the ad will appear on other video content websites here and then you can go ahead and create the campaign so now you can see the campaign is getting ready and we can continue to campaign so this will be our video non-skippable 15 seconds ad campaign which we have created you can see the ad group over here if you click on that you will find the ad which has gone under review google will take like like one business day to check your ads and let us know whether the ad is approved or not once the ad is approved it can go live if you click on the ad you can see the preview of the ad how it is going to look like on mobile on desktop and on other video content websites if you want to check out the targetings we did in this campaign you can find all of that on the left panel if you go to keywords you will find all the video keywords we added today if you go to audiences then all the different types of targetings are available here like in market affinity life event under demographics you will find all the demographic selections which we did in the same manner if you go to placements you will find the YouTube videos we selected today in this campaign and the last one is topic targeting so you will find all the topic categories as well you can come to these targetings and make changes to them you can add new targetings you can remove the ones which are not working and you can make those changes at any point in time guys in this simple manner we can create a non-skippable in-stream ad I hope this content was useful guys and you are able to understand how this is being built. If you have any questions, feel free to write in the comment section. I would be happy to help you guys. Thank you so much for today.